Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and it's now flu season, and it's it's cold, and people are getting sick, and uh, and you're getting a lot of information, uh, conflicting information about vaccinations, whether they're effective, whether you should get one, whether you shouldn't get one, and I wanted to try to sort of sort through all the information to figure out which information is reliable and which information might be nonsense. So to talk about this issue, I brought in my favorite medical expert, Dr. Jennifer Cottle. Uh, I've got Dr. Cottle on the line. How are you today, Dr. Cottle? I'm doing great. Boys, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I um, It's funny. I'm always honest with my audience, and I tell them that, that I just woke up from a nap. So if I say something stupid, it's because my brain is probably five minutes behind me. But uh, I was anxious to talk to you before I, I left town uh, because you said that there there have been some um, a li- there's been a little bit of misinformation uh, being spread about flu vaccinations and things like that, and uh, you wanted to share some information and kind of clear the air on that. Can you tell us more about what's going on and what your concerns are? Well, absolutely. Uh, really, my concern is how people sometimes view the flu vaccine. Uh, I'm a family practitioner. I'm a family doc, and I offer this vaccine to my patients literally every day. Um, I offered flu vaccines to my patients today, yesterday, and we'll do it tomorrow. One of the biggest reasons I get from my patients as to why uh, they were are refusing the, uh, the flu shot is because they feel like it's going to make them sick. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about today is why it isn't true and why the flu vaccine is probably one of the most uh, effective ways to fight off the flu this season. Okay. So, so you're you're saying that you know, all this stuff about the, the vaccinations making you sick, or being ineffective, and or or doing something else to you uh, that's negative. That, but a lot of that's just wrong. That these vaccinations have been tested and that they're known to work, and that you you trust them. Am I correct? Absolutely. The flu vaccine. There's a number of different flu vaccination mediums. Um, the flu shot, which is the injection that's given usually into the arm is made up of a killed virus. So that killed virus is really not able to get you sick because it's not alive. Now, there are live influenza forms of the vaccine. The nasal spray is a live form. Um, There are other different forms as well. But when we talk about the flu shot, it's a killed virus. It cannot make you sick. Um, But there are a number of things people really need to keep in mind as to maybe why they might get sick around the time they get the flu shot. And this is probably the, one of the most important things. So, Boyce, let me ask you, did you get a flu shot this year by chance? No, I did not. I I have um I have the health of a of a powerful healthy horse, so I just don't get sick. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you mentioned that because that's probably the second reason why people tell me they don't want the flu vaccine. And something I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to get your flu shot. One of the reasons why is because even though you might be healthy, um, there are a lot of people out there that are not as healthy as you are. Um, people with compromised immune systems, infants, elderly people who, if they get sick, are more likely to get sicker than maybe someone who's nice and healthy like you. So remember that part of getting the flu vaccine is not only protecting yourself, but protecting other people who can't protect themselves as well as we can. Um, but keep in mind with the flu shot. So, so first of all, people say, well, Dr. Cottle, why do I get sick? every time I get the flu shot, or I got the flu shot a year ago and I was the sickest I ever have been. Um, There's a couple reasons why you still might get sick if you get the flu shot. Number one, remember that when you get your flu shot, it takes about two weeks for your body to become fully protected against the flu virus. So the minute you get your shot, you're not protected against these viruses. And if you walk out and you get exposed to a virus within that two-week period, it's still possible that you could get sick. So it's not from the shot in that instance. It's from actually just, you know, getting sick from being out in the the elements. The other thing is remember that when the CDC develops these vaccines, they pick the three most likely strains of the flu virus in a given period of, of time, in a year. There's many, many flu virus strains. So let's say you get the flu shot, you're protected against the three um, the three strains the CDC chose, but you know what? You still can get another strain of the flu virus. It's not as likely that you'll get sick because you got vaccinated, but it's still possible. And don't forget that, remember, it takes a few days for a virus inside us to become active. So if you get your flu shot today and tomorrow you come down with symptoms like a cold, 
it's really not possible the shot could have done that because it took about three or four days for that virus in you to start working, which means you got exposed to that virus three or four days before you actually got the flu shot and you're just now experiencing symptoms. So I really want people to keep these in mind. If you get sick around the time you get the flu shot, it's not the shot. It's likely coincidental exposure or some of the other things I talked about. And remember that really getting vaccinated this year, we are in an epidemic this year. The CDC is reporting approximately 47 states having widespread flu activity. I'm seeing patients every single day with the flu. One of the best things you can do to protect yourself is to get the flu vaccine. Okay. Well, you know, you you have uh, inspired me, and you've also changed my opinion about the necessity of getting my flu shot, and I will do that. I'm going to do that next year, but I will do that. And uh, I want everybody to know that I have a lot of respect for Dr. Cottle. She is uh, currently an assistant professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey in the School of Osteopathic Medicine. Did I say that correct? You did. You did. Good. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Cotto also um, is, is one of the people I have so much respect for. She's so accomplished. And um, and uh, one day I'll tell you guys all the great things she's done. But graduating from Princeton with honors is one of the many things that she's done. So she, uh, in the words of President Obama, she is a role model for Sasha and Malia, in my opinion. Aww. Not Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce is not a role model to me, but Dr. Cotto certainly is. But anyway, Dr. Cotto, I want to say thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this valuable information you, you've shared with us today. Um, thank you. And thank you all for checking us out at yourblackworld.com. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.